The intelligence we captured at Desmus's base indicates the Banished are using something called the Cartographer. What can you tell us, Isabel? The Cartographer is a map of everything on the Ark. That means Atriox could use it to locate key systems and weapons on this installation. Isabel and I have been going over the data from Decimus's base and we found a way into the Cartographer, but it's not going to be easy. The Cartographer's defenses make it almost impenetrable. The only way up to it is by a Forerunner elevator. If you can get access to the local Forerunner control towers, I can take control of the elevator and take us up. It's our only chance of getting inside. We'll have to take it. We need to hit the Banished again before they find out what we discovered at their base. Get to the Cartographer and find out what Atriox is planning. Be careful. The Banished may still have traffic moving along the route. Hey, what's up guys and gals? It's the Tyrant here and welcome back to my Halo Wars 2 Legendary Walkthrough. Right now we're doing Mission 3 entitled Incent Ascension. And the beginning doesn't start out too difficult. Essentially, again, it starts out like a scout-based mission, but quickly does turn on you very quickly. So check out this path right here. You want to go to the left of this uh, waterfall. Here you'll pick up some supplies as well as some power cells. Got a little bit more up here. This will give you a nice little head start when you actually start building your base. This mission is definitely different than the last two. Well, technically, all three of these missions are different. First one was a scout-based mission. The second one, you started building bases. This time, you actually have to play a version of King of the Hill. Or not even King of the Hill. I think it's... Uh, Shoot, plot point or whatever it was in Halo 3 where you had to capture different uh, segments to actually get points. Okay, so here we have a couple of brute choppers heading our way. Again, not a big deal. You've got some Cyclopses or Cyclopses. I'm not sure what the technical term is there. And you've got some Warthogs as well. And a Spartan, so that works out pretty good. So you're going to send your Spartan up here, give him a nice little ground pound. Pretty sure they got this from Halo 5. On the way. And then sent him on his oh, way. Position, position. So we're going to go around the waterfalls. There's going to be a wraith over here. You're going to want to capture that. Spartan, moving out. Moving out. Getting closer, getting closer. Roger. Roger. Mind if I take this? There we go. Well, come on. Not the laser. There we go. Much better. So now I've got a Wraith. Go ahead and activate that light bridge as soon as you actually gain control. There we go. we got a few infantry units that are going to attack him over here. Again, this is nothing. So, you know, don't fret too much. Just take him out real quick. Then go ahead and activate that light bridge. And you can go ahead and summon your other units over here. So again, you have a little bit of opposition. You're going to have a couple of wraiths that are going to attack you. Again, not a big deal. Or maybe it's just a wraith and a pair of hunters. Oh. Maybe I'm starting to think ahead a little too much. All right, so again, hunters are down. Don't be too surprised if you lose a lot of units here. The hunters are extremely powerful. The Wraith, not so much with the vehicles you have, but yes, those hunters can take you down pretty quick. As they should be able to. They are hunters, after all. So we're going to make our way over here. Oh, and you see some Sentinel action. They are not thrilled with the Covenant presence, or I should say the Banished presence. I'm sorry, they're not Covenant here. So 
So now you're gonna move over here and start building your first base. Once again, make sure you collect all the supplies and power cells that you can to get as much of a head start as possible. All right, so as soon as this builds, and I'm gonna give it a second because I know it's gonna take you to the mission objectives just a little bit. Essentially, we have three nodes that we need to try to capture in order to gain access to the Forerunner elevator, which will grant us access to the, to the cartographer. So that's C, that's B. And that's A. So we'll go over just what to do in just a second. So now we have our base here. In this order, construct a supply pad, a generator, and an air base. You will need all three of these desperately. And if you can construct more supply pads and generators, if you can spare the uh, currency, please definitely do so. I highly suggest constructing turrets, at least in the front of your bases, but supplies are gonna be spread thin quite a bit here. So the two types of uh, units that you want to focus on the most, A, definitely Hornets, and as a secondary thing, B, Marines, because only Marines can capture those nodes that we saw earlier. Now, it may be very tempting to go for C first, just because it seems like the closest, or it is, or it does have the, uh, sorry, it does have the most direct route. I would highly recommend against it and go for A first. It actually does kind of, highlight that for you and I'll and I'll discuss why in just a minute so you're gonna have a few uh, waves that attack you here it's not that big of a deal considering the units you already have keep in mind you already have a few hornets fly in to help you excellent excellent reinforcements you'll definitely need those on this mission now just to recap keep in mind that hornets are susceptible to infantry but they are excellent against vehicles so when it comes to these enemy wraiths, definitely sick those hornets on them. See, that was pretty easy. Take out this guy. And once these uh, waves are done, you won't have to worry, at least for a little while, about enemies attacking your alpha base right here. So don't worry too much. Just focus on building up your units. And then you should be in good shape. My uh, screen seems to have frozen just a tad bit here. There we go. So we're going to keep these guys around here. So the A base is what you want to go for first. There's going to be a few uh, structures we're going to run into along the way. These you want to take first. So they're little like mini bases that the Banished have. These actually produce enemy units and make it easier for them to assault your base and far more difficult for you to actually take on the nodes for, so that you can access the elevator later on. So if you actually go this way first, you'll cut off their supply production, you'll cut off their wraiths and everything else. So start here. You can actually build a little uh, satellite base here once this is done. Not only does this prevent them from building further, but it gives you a little place that you can actually spawn Marines to help capture those nodes. So we're going to go ahead and build a little mini base there. So once you get back here, again, your main focus should be supply pads. So we're going to wait up a little bit. Again, resources do seem to be scarce in this game. Um, so if you didn't collect those resources at the beginning, it is going to make things significantly more difficult for you. So that is a very important step to take in order to complete this mission successfully. You do not, just a side note, you do not need to capture all three nodes. Again, this is kind of like, uh, oh man, it's been so long since I played Halo 3 multiplayer. Uh, Whichever, wh whatever the match was where you had three points where you could capture and other teammates could try to contest it and whatever. It wasn't King of the Hill, but I think you know what I'm talking about here. But essentially, you do not have to capture all three nodes, but each time you capture one, your timer goes up. So the mo the uh, the goal, the score here that you're aiming for is 3,000. The more nodes you have, the faster it goes up. So that's our first node right there. Again, we just need some Marines over here to capture it, and we can actually start 
the countdown. Fortunately, between the three nodes, no one has captured any yet, especially not the enemy. That's the important thing here. So we have another supply pad. You can only, from what I can, from what I can tell from these minibases, you can only make one single building. So I would prefer a supply pad because that seems to be the hardest to come by. Surprisingly, I thought it would be power, but apparently not. So we're gonna deal with these guys real quick. Make sure our enemy or our allies are healed up. And now we can use this base to actually make some marines to capture that node so we don't have to traverse all the way back from Alpha Base. So, so far we're off to a good start. We have plenty of supplies as well as power. So now we just need to capture that first node to get this scoreboard started and get the upper hand. You definitely do not want the Covenant or the Banished, I'm sorry, to capture the first node because it will put you behind very quickly. So we're gonna grab these supplies up here. There's another power silo. Okay, I'm not sure if this is another Wraith factory or anything right here, but we're going to destroy it just to be on the safe side. I hope there were some bad guys inside. I'm there, sir. And we have another we one that's over here. Sure so again, we want to focus on making sure we have plenty of Hornets in the air. These, gonna, are, these are going to be our most effective units against our enemies in this particular yes, mission. So we've already captured node A at this point. So now we're going to try to aim for B, see how quickly we can get it. This one's going to be a little bit more heavily guarded. It's going to have some wraiths. Okay, so we have five hornets now available, plus our leader and our ally wraith. So we just want to make sure we actually can get a hold of this node. Even if you can't keep these nodes the entire time, it's important to try to capture them early so you can get a nice, steady lead. Because you will have trouble keeping control over these nodes. You're going to have Covenant attacking... I'm sorry, again, I said Covenant. The Banish attacking your home base as well as the nodes. And your resources are spread thin pretty... or spread pretty thin here. So you are going to have trouble actually balancing between the three. So make sure you capture these nodes early on so that you can gain that lead so that if they actually do manage to take them back, you can you have time available. So that's the important thing here. So this is our second mini base that we're trying to take over. Again, it'll keep them from manufacturing rates and give us a chance to have another supply pad. So let's take on these hunters. These guys are obviously the most devastating to us at this point. And there's another wraith, great. Hold on. Don't forget about that hunter. He's almost gone. There we go. Hunter's down. Let's go ahead and deal with this guy. Alright, so now we have a little bit of infantry left, and then we should be in good shape to take down the mini bays. Again, you can put up turrets here if you would like to. That all depends on the number of resources you have. But again, I would highly stress you concentrate on making more hornets. Our base is under attack. We're going to do that now. You do tend to lose them pretty quickly thanks to the amount of infantry that is in this mission. But they are so helpful against the vehicles and that is really what can decimate you really, really quick. Guys aren't listening here, so I'm going to see if I can send at least one of these guys back over here so I can make sure I can build my base. And our base has suffered some really bad damage here. Okay, 
So it looks like we're in good shape right about now. We could put some turrets there. Not really sure I want to do that. Not yet, at least. Want to keep those supplies ready for more hornets. And see how well that worked out. Ooh, okay. So this will happen periodically throughout the mission. You'll get plasma bombarded. Whenever you see this beam or start firing down, get your units away from there as quick as possible. It doesn't matter if you have un or infantry units, vehicular units, or air units. It is effective against all of them. This is basically the map gun from the last game. At least the best that I can tell. So we're going to keep building more units here. As you can see, we're starting to run low on supplies. So we're going to start dealing with this again. I think I left it alone too long. So again, we want to make sure we get this going. Get our satellite base installed there so that they cannot build again. It looks like they've already taken our A node, which we definitely want to get back because they're already in the lead. But we're going to take this down first because if we don't, they're going to reestablish a base here. And they're going to make our lives significantly more difficult as we, are, as we go down the road. So... Let's go ahead and take this out. We're almost there. All right, perfect. Make sure you they stick around long enough, and like I did last time, to make sure that satellite node is installed. Come on. There we go. Whoop. There we go. All right, so now let's go ahead and take the A node back. That's going to be the easiest one, since most of the forces at this point are going to be concentrated on B. And right now, we don't have the firepower that I'm comfortable with. I mean, seven hornets is good, but some of them are pretty weak. On my way. So right now, let's focus on the easiest node to get back so we can actually start getting back time. Because right now, if you look at that counter right on the top of our screen, we aren't gaining any. And right now, we're only at 450. They have gained a substantial lead at 850. So we have to get that back. So we need to get back over here, get our Hornets up, make sure we have some Marines in the other base so that we can easily capture our other node back, which we're doing pretty well so far thanks to our leader. But it's always nice to have some Marines on standby just in case you have to recapture one of these nodes. There's a power node right there just to our left. I'm going to ignore that for now because right now I'm really focused on trying to get this B node so that we can gain that lead back because right now they're almost they are actually more than double what we are right now they are double our score we cannot have that so fortunately b is unoccupied so we're going to take that node and we're going to gain our lead back a and b are the easiest ones to take here i'm not sure why i know there were suicide grunts over at c that can definitely have an influence unfortunately and there's another plasma bombardment so they know we're coming at this point. So make sure you steer away from it. Do the best you can. And we got cut down pretty good. Not a good thing. About... Let's see, that was three out of seven of our Hornets. So that's not great. But fortunately, we have the B node now as well. So we have two out of the three. That's great. The Covenant have none. Or, sorry, again, the Banished have none. So we are going to catch up, hopefully, fairly quickly. And the key here is to, is to sustain a decent lead in case these nodes get captured later. Again, you can win this mission faster if you manage to catch all three. Try not to focus too hard on it because you will stress yourself out. The main thing here is to capture at least two. While you're doing that, again, make sure you're always producing hornets. These are the most effective units in this particular mission. And always make sure you have marines or at least your leader on standby so you can capture additional nodes or power or uh, power generators if need be. So we're just going to hang tight, try to defend this thing for now. We're going to move forward just a little bit, see if we can actually possibly capture the C node. It looks like defenses are pretty high right here. Yep, and there's some hunters, so we're going to fall back. Those guys are devastatingly powerful against Hornets. So again, we're going to see if we can fix any more or uh, make any more Hornets. Just 
again, keep your fleet as high as you can. Keep in mind this is still early on. Don't know if you can upgrade these like you could in Halo Wars, and I have no idea what that is, but that thing pisses me off. It reminds me of that thing in Halo Spartan Strike that the Spartan can wield who just runs around with this weird fiery electrical shockwave and destroys a bunch of enemies. Not sure if that's the same thing, but it is pretty annoying. So here we have some turrets as well. I haven't measured these too well against how they go against uh, Hornets, but they seem pretty devastating. So I went ahead and saw if I could do a, a strike there. It actually kind of hurt my guys as well a little bit. At least it seems it did. So we're going to see if we can resurrect him. But yeah, it seems like trying to advance at this point is not a smart idea. Essentially, you have to just sort of play it out as things go when you're playing this mission. Again, as long as you have A and B captured, you should be in relatively good shape. Obviously, it does go faster if you capture C as well, but you need to just make sure you sustain a, a lead, and so far we have. We managed to catch back up. We're now past 1,300, where they're still stuck at 1,000. So they have not managed to capture a single node since we captured B, so we should be able to win this as long as we can hold on to both of those. And even if we lose them, as long as we manage to get them back fairly quickly, it's not that big of a deal. So let's make sure we revive our leader so we can capture any uh, vehicles if we need them. Again, he's also pretty powerful. And it's nice that he technically never dies. Because remember, Spartans never die, they just go missing in action. Okay, so we might actually have a hard time getting him back. So we only have four Hornets right now. I want to send them over here, see if they can maybe revive our guy. Not sure if it takes ground units to do it, or if aerial units can as well. But I'm going to go ahead and send them back. Because we are fighting a losing battle right now. And I at least want to make sure our B... Our B base or our B node is safe for the time being, at least until we have a fairly substantial lead. Okay, and we walked right into that trap. Okay, so we're going back here again. Just try to defend this one for a while. We don't have to worry about A too much. Yes, some vehicles might get passed and try to recapture it. Again, I'm not that concerned right now so much as B because that is a central point for this map. So that's the one we want to take control over the most. Again, start with A, then move to B. If you have the resources and you have the firepower, of course try to capture C. But these are the two that you definitely want to stick with. So we're going to make a few more of these Hornets. We're starting to have a... A losing battle over here over in uh, the B node. We have two wraiths. Pretty sure we don't have the firepower to deal with both of them. I'm going to see if we can try it. Yeah, we definitely don't. So I'm going to see if maybe we can... What happened? Alright, so now that the fog of war is back on because we lost that skirmish, I cannot aerial bomb them like I had originally planned. That sucks. But we are now double the, we have double the score they do. So hopefully we should have a comfortable lead. But again, anything can happen. Remember, if they capture all three nodes, we're going to be right back at up shit creek. So again, we have to build up our forces. This is kind of the pain in the ass part of the mission. You do not have a lot of time here. Although it's still better than technically having a time mission. So, yeah, I can deal with that. Alright, so we only have two Hornets now. I'm going to do the best I can. Try to fend these guys off. See if we can actually get a couple of more troops up there. See if we can actually take it back. Before they move on to A node. Or node A. Which looks like is what they're trying to do right now. So we're going to see if we can get some more Marines up here, see if they can recapture B node. There's not a lot here except for those Wraiths. 
So that could potentially be a problem. If we can get our hero back up, we can actually capture one of those wraiths. All right, so we're going to see if we can actually get up here. Get them right outside of node B. All right, so A node is now currently being attacked. We have got to fix that. Looks like I had missed one of those bases too. Might be a little late now that I don't have the, the forces to actually take it on at least quickly. All right, so we want to make sure we take that back. So far, we're doing pretty good. We only have about 600 more left in terms of points. So we're doing, as long as we don't lose all nodes at this point, we should be relatively okay. All right, so we've got A node back again. Let's see if we can try to take B one more time just to get that initial boost. That Wraith has given us a hard time. Let's see if we can get everyone up here just to make sure we can nuke that Wraith. This Wraith is definitely beefed up. Not really sure if that's intentional or not. Not sure if he has a, a leader upgrade, but he is definitely beefed up. Alright, keep steady on that Wraith. Alright, so we got one down, one more. And these guys are definitely surrounded. So let's see if we can set a base just outside here once again. Or it looks like these guys are going to head down south back to A. Alright, so we at least stalled them long enough. So that's a plus so they don't get to A too quickly. Because again, right now we have about 450 more points to win. But they can still take the lead if they actually manage to gain control of A and we can't get it back. Because already they're getting more points than we are in terms of speed. So again, we're just going to try to distract them as much as we can. Make sure that we, ha we hold control of A so we can at least continue to gain more points. See if maybe we can actually nuke this guy from orbit. All right, good. So we managed to get him, but we took out our own guy in the process. So let's see if we can get some troops up here and recapture that node before they start moving down to A. And again, we've given up on C at this point. We don't need it. All right, so we're about about 300 points away from winning. Yep, exactly 300 points. So we really don't need to worry about C as long as we can actually manage to hold on to A and try to at least take on B because they are starting to gain the, they are starting to catch up to us a little bit. They are a thousand points behind, but if they do manage to take on A, we're not going to get gain any points at all. So we're going to see if we can get these guys up here at the very least revive our hero. Okay, yeah, we're not, we didn't move close enough. Okay. We're about to get our asses handed to us. All right, so we're going to move back down here. So we have two Hornets left. See if we can get our uh, leader back up there. Okay, so we are starting to lose, con our, lose control of uh, Tower A. Unfortunately, we're only... Or fortunately for us, we're about 150 down. But again, we can't gain the points we need unless we have control of at least one of the nodes. So we're going to try doing this again. Right now, we're capturing uh, Tower B. And if we can do that, we'll go ahead and try to control uh, Tower A as well. So we're going back, just making sure that we have as many Hornets as we can get our hands on. We'll send them in as quickly as we can. Obviously, Tower A is going to be the least defended at this point, but do not be surprised if they start attacking Tower B. So right now, Tower B is surprisingly calm. We've captured control Tower B. Okay, so we have almost it's about 130 points left to go. They're still pretty far behind. Again, as long as they don't capture all three, we are in pretty good shape at this point. Make my way. 
So it looks like we pretty much have it from here. Thank you guys so much for watching. Again, this has been Mission 3 for Tyrant's Halo Wars 2 Legendary Walkthrough. Stay tuned where we're going to start doing Mission 4. We're going to try to knock out this whole thing this weekend so that you have the guides ready for you when this game is fully released to the public. Right now, of course, you can play if you have the Ultimate Edition. Otherwise, it will be released on Tuesday. At that point, everyone can play. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you have any questions or concerns, go ahead and hit me up in the comments below, or you can hit me up on Facebook and Twitter. And if you like this video, please hit that subscribe button for more video game related content every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, right here on mythictyrant.com. We just gotta hit up this uh, last uh, elevator lift right here. But again, thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you right back here for mission four. And as always, I'm the Tyrant, signing off. Team, we've got a clear route to the cartographer now, and you heard the banished wraith production at the same time. Feels good to have another win, sir. It may be a bit early for celebrations, Jerome. Let's wait until we find out what Atriox has been planning at the cartographer. You honored those we lost today with your actions. I'm proud of all of you.